the pleasure of chatting up with Dr. Michael Dorsey at the Rio Plus 20 conferences in Rio, Brazil, after talking alongside EPA's Lisa Jackson on environmental sustainability issues. Dr. Michael Dorsey is a professor at Dartmouth College for Environmental Studies Science. He holds a degree from University of Michigan, Yale, and John Hopkins University. His current research focuses on interplay of environmental governance and transitional institutions. Why is environmental protection important to you? Environmental protection isn't just the only thing that we need to think about here in Rio. What we really are trying to do is move a conversation around having environmental protection, having social justice, and building the economy in a way that keeps in mind and takes in mind the together. So we now, in the, in the 21st century, we've left the conversation where we only think about just environment. We're moving the conversation where we know that the only way to have a robust economy, to have environmental protection, and to have social justice is to do all those things together. Uh, and we can't have one or the other. We have to work on all of this together, and we can work on all of this together. So really, the, the thing that we're trying to do here in, in Rio, and really beyond Rio, the thing that's going to happen on Monday, the first work day after Rio, is beginning to work with social movements uh, to put together delivering on environmental protection, having social justice, and building the economy all together. And that's really what we call sustainable development. That's sustainability. I mean, from Detroit, your detail, dude. Like, how does climate change affect your community? Climate change is really unfolding climate catastrophe. It has huge implications on people in Detroit. It has huge implications on the state of Michigan. Uh, and also, of course, in the U.S. and around the world. Why? Because places like Detroit are both, I'll say it, places like Detroit are on the cutting edge solutions on the problem. Detroit is a motor city, as we all know, uh, and the car crisis of America that's now gripping other countries like China, like here in Brazil, it's a crisis that we've got to get around. We've got to think about how do we build cities, how do we build societies that aren't exclusively dependent on individual cars, uh, and that's a project that those in Detroit have to commit more to think about. That's a project that they have to really engage and try to move at the both political and tactical level, uh, at the level of, of the, the big three automobile makers. But it's also a, a project that communities like people in Detroit are working on, and it's a project that I think increasingly more people are trying to push the automobile makers to really say, you know, they've got to think beyond simply just producing cars that are hugely inefficient, hugely contributing to the crisis. And they've got to come up with new automobiles, but also new sort of ideas about transportation. Uh, and really, if, if Detroit is, has led for essentially a century on thinking about how to have the automobile revolution, then they could also lead on in the next century, in this century going forward, about re revolutionizing. Detroit can lead on revolutionizing transportation. Right, right. 